Welcome to an enchanting tale, The Clever Rooster and the Tricky Fox, a tale of wit and friendship. In a peaceful village nestled among rolling green hills, lived a clever rooster named Rusty, known for his intelligence and quick wit. Long ago, in a quiet town set among rich green hills, there lived a wily rooster named Corroded. Corroded was no ordinary rooster, he was known for his knowledge and wit. One fine morning, as the sun's brilliant rays painted the sky, Corroded set off on a grand experiment to explore the surrounding woods. As Corroded strolled through the forest, he spotted a lively fox named Freddy lurking in the shadows. Freddy was famous for his finesse and love of mischief. He had an idea in mind, to deceive Corroded and organize a grand gala. Freddy drew closer Corroded with a cordial disposition. Hi, Corroded. What carries you to the forest today? Corroded, consistently mindful, answered. I'm investigating and partaking in the magnificence of nature. And you, Freddy? Freddy claimed to be well disposed. Goodness, I'm only here to see the value in the marvels of the woods. Say, Corroded, have you found out about the glorious tree of natural products somewhere inside the timberland? It's said to have the most delightful natural products one might at any point taste. Fascinated by Freddy's words, Corroded inquired. Truly? I'd very much want to see this tree of organic products. Might you at any point direct me there? Freddy, concealing his shrewd grin, concurred. Obviously. Follow me, and I'll show you the way. As they strolled further into the woods, Freddy plotted how to outmaneuver Corroded. Still up in the air to have a dining experience with the delicious rooster, however Corroded was no numbskull. On their way, Corroded saw a reasonable path of paw prints prompting a secret snare. Understanding Freddy's expectations, Corroded immediately concocted his very own strategy. He chose to cooperate and reverse the situation on the craftiness fox. Corroded professed to be dumbfounded. Goodness, check these tracks out. I wonder where they lead. Freddy laughed. Only a few backwoods animals, nothing to stress over. They arrived at a huge tree where Freddy guaranteed the supernatural natural product tree was. Corroded looked around, seeing the secret pit covered with leaves. He professed to be flabbergasted. Amazing! This tree is exceptional! Be that as it may, I'm excessively little to arrive at those delightful organic products up there. Freddy, anxious to execute his arrangement, proposed. I can assist you with that. I'll remain on my rear legs and shake the tree, making the organic products fall. Then, at that point, you can have a gala. Corroded, having his influence, claimed to be appreciative. Goodness, Freddy, that is extremely sore of you. Yet, I'm concerned you could get injured. What about this? I'll track down a long stick to shake the tree delicately, and you can get the natural products. Freddy, seeing the chance to devour the rooster, consented to the thought. Corroded hurried away, apparently to find a stick yet truly to accumulate the woods creatures for help. Corroded accumulated a gathering of timberland animals, including a squirrel, a bunny, and a deer. He cleared up Freddy's underhanded arrangement for them and requested their help. The creatures consented to help and immediately contrived an arrangement. The hare would dig a more profound pit, the squirrel would gather passes on to cover the pit, and the deer would watch out for Freddy's methodology. In the meantime, Corroded got back to Freddy, faking energy. Freddy, I've tracked down an ideal stick to delicately shake the tree. How about we proceed to partake in the organic products? They arrived at the tree, and Corroded gave the stick to Freddy. Freddy moved on to it, and as he began shaking the tree, Corroded shrewdly flagged the creatures. The bunny dug further, the squirrel added more leaves, and the deer cautioned them of Freddy's developments. Freddy, losing his equilibrium, staggered in reverse and fell squarely into the pit. The creatures encompassed the pit, and corroded insulted. Appears as though you've succumbed to your own snare, 
Freddy. Understanding his arrangement had misfired, Freddy argued for help. Corroded, showing sympathy, said, We'll take care of you, yet guarantee us you'll stop your stunts and at absolutely no point ever hurt anybody in the future. Freddy concurred earnestly, understanding the mistake of his methodologies. The creatures cooperated to liberate Freddy from the pit. From that day on, Freddy made a fresh start. He turned into a supportive and kind fox, joining Corroded and the Timberland animals in keeping up with harmony and congruity in the forest. The sharp rooster, Corroded, instructed everybody that even the most crafty can improve when shown sympathy and understanding. What's more, together, they made the backwoods a magnificent and safe spot for all to appreciate. And so, the tale of the clever rooster and the tricky fox reminds us that kindness and understanding can transform even the trickiest of hearts. Thank you for joining us on this enchanting journey. If you enjoyed this story, please like, share, and subscribe for more exciting tales. Until next time, may your days be filled with wisdom and friendship.